Crude oil tankers are colossal vessels meticulously engineered to transport unrefined petroleum, often referred to as crude oil, from extraction sites to refineries. At these refineries, the oil oil undergoes complex processing to transform into essential fuels and products such as gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and various petrochemicals that drive modern economies. These tankers serve as indispensable links in the global energy supply chain, transporting oil from major production regions, including the Middle East, North America, and West Africa, to consumption centers around the world. The need for such massive vessels emerged in the mid-19th century, soon after pioneers in the oil industry began tapping crude oil as an energy source. Early oil prospectors faced a critical challenge, transporting black gold from remote extraction sites to locations where it could be refined, marketed, and used. This demand for efficient transport solutions paved the way for the development of the first crude tankers, setting the stage for the vast maritime infrastructure that supports the modern energy industry. Today, oil tankers fall into two primary categories, crude tankers and product tankers. Crude tankers, often among the largest ships ever built, transport raw, unrefined oil from production locations to refineries for processing. Product tankers, in contrast, are generally smaller and are designed to transport refined products like gasoline, diesel, and kerosene to markets around the globe. This dual classification allows for specialization within the oil transport sector, ensuring that both crude oil and refined products reach their destinations efficiently and economically. Efficiency is key in the oil transport industry, where companies aim to maximize profit while minimizing costs. Oil tankers, due to their enormous size and capacity, offer one of the most cost-effective means of long-distance oil transportation, with average costs hovering around two to four cents per gallon. This economical transport method has facilitated the widespread distribution of energy resources across continents, enabling the modern energy landscape as we know it. However, like many transformative technologies, oil tankers have brought both progress and challenges. These vessels have allowed us to enjoy unparalleled mobility and access to energy, yet they have also contributed to some of the most catastrophic environmental disasters. Oil spills from tanker accidents have led to widespread ecological damage, contaminating waterways, devastating marine life, and disrupting coastal communities. Beyond the primary categories, oil tankers are further specialized into subtypes to meet varied operational needs. Standard oil tankers move crude oil or refined products between points, while replenishment oilers are equipped to deliver fuel to ships at sea, supporting naval and, and commercial operations far from shore. Additionally, aging or uneconomical tankers are often repurposed as floating storage units, extending their operational lifespan and supporting the oil industry's flexible storage needs. Um, the evolution of crude oil tankers exemplifies the intricate balance between technological progress, economic efficiency, and environmental responsibility, an ongoing challenge as we navigate our growing demand for energy in a world with finite resources.
A vast network of meticulously engineered blocks comes together to create an immense vessel, each piece contributing to the innovative designs that define Hyundai Heavy Industries' exceptional competitiveness in building world-class ships. Established in 1972, Hyundai Heavy Industries introduced a groundbreaking new era in shipbuilding by constructing the world's largest ships at scale. Over the past four decades, what was once a quiet fishing village in Mipo, Ulsan Bay, has transformed into a vibrant global hub for ship manufacturing, boasting expansive shipyards in Ulsan and Gunsan, 11 dry docks, and a coastline of harbor walls stretching over eight kilometers, all equipped with state-of-the-art production facilities. With a capacity to deliver up to 90 ships of various types annually, Hyundai Heavy Industries meets the rigorous demands of global markets, maintaining a robust edge that expanded further with the establishment of the Gunsan Shipyard in 2010. In terms of architecture, oil tankers typically contain between 8 to 12 tanks, each divided into two or three independent compartments by fore and aft bulkheads for added structural integrity. These tanks are labeled sequentially from bow to stern, with compartments referred to by tank number and position, such as one port, three starboard, or six center. To ensure safety, a cofferdam, or a small open space between bulkheads, is strategically placed to insulate tanks against heat, fire, or potential collision impact. Tankers generally have cofferdams both forward and aft of the cargo tanks, and sometimes between individual tanks. Additionally, a pump room, often extending across the entire breadth of the vessel, houses pumps that connect to the tanker's cargo lines, with some larger tankers featuring two pump rooms to support complex operations. The design of a tanker's hull is a critical factor in its performance and environmental safety. Traditional single-hulled tankers have a single shell between the cargo and the ocean, while newer double-hulled tankers are designed with an extra layer of protection, providing additional separation between the cargo and the water. Hybrid configurations such as double-bottom or double-sided tankers incorporate elements of both single and double hulls to enhance safety and functionality. In line with the International Convention for the Prevention of Prevention of Pollution from Ships, MARPOL, established in 1973, single-hulled tankers are being phased out globally, with a complete phase-out deadline set for 2026. The United Nations also mandated the elimination of single-hulled oil tankers by 2010. Uh, the double hull design offers numerous benefits over single hull models, including improved emergency ballasting options, minimized corrosion due to reduced saltwater exposure in cargo tanks, enhanced environmental protection, more efficient cargo discharge and tank cleaning processes, and increased protection during low impact collisions and grounding events. Overall, double-hulled tankers are widely regarded as safer than their single-hulled counterparts, particularly in grounding incidents in softer seabeds. However, the safety margin varies with larger vessels and in cases of high-speed impacts, where the advantages are less definitive. Hyundai Heavy Industries continues to lead in innovative ship design, with its advanced infrastructure and commitment to safety, efficiency, and environmental stewardship, solidifying its position at the forefront of the global shipbuilding industry.